Yo, yo, guys, morning. It's Fitty here. So it's uh, Friday morning. Gonna hit some chest today. Gonna show you guys some workouts. Um, gonna keep it simple today. I'm trying to gain some size and strength, so I'm focusing more on um, compound lifts, just like the uh, bench press, uh, incline and such. Uh, I'm not too focused on going higher reps. I want to, uh, in a sense, control the reps more, but uh, build that strength. So um, I'm gonna try and go a little, a little heavy. Um, so for some odd reason, my chest has been uh, my weakest body part right now, to as far as increasing strength. So I've been really, really working on that, trying to increase uh, as far as weight, but. Uh, you're trying to check the ego at the door as well because it's not always about weight. It's uh, it's more about the the form and you know getting proper range of motion and such. So um, I'm actually just uh, getting ready, gonna head out to the gym right now. So uh, see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, guys. So we just arrived here at a uh, powerhouse in Oxnard. Originally it was Gold's Gym, so to me it's always gonna be Gold's Gym. Um, so yeah, just gonna walk in, warm up, and we'll get started up. Alright guys, so it's chest day today. Um, actually chest is one of the body parts in which I lag um, size and strength right now, so I've been really working on, on my chest for the last couple months. And I always like to start my workouts, like chest and back, with body workouts such as the push-up. Um, this just helps me to get the the chest cavity warmed up and uh, get that mind body connection ready to go. So I'll do about three sets of about ten reps per grip um, or arm hand placement. Sorry. So I'll do the neutral, the wide, and the inner. So this just attacks all angles of the chest. And in my opinion, the best chest workout out there. Nothing beats your body weight, so the push-up helps you get the fullness of the chest. So just uh, remember that. Um, started my chest workout with the bench press. Uh, today I decided to do six sets. I've been focusing on the compound lifts such as the chest press or the bench press, I'm sorry, just to really work on not only the chest, but it helps target uh, more muscle groups of the body such as the core, and such um, so if you really want to build a stronger bigger chest fuller chest you really want to incorporate this compound lift into your workout it'll give your body frame a fuller frame per se and uh, it's just one of the, those workouts that will help you get stronger so this little technique that I'm using here as you guys can see is a power lifting technique um, you want to make sure you don't flare out your elbows because you can injure your shoulders um, I'm talking this from experience I went years doing the traditional uh, flare out of the the elbows and uh, unfortunately I, I, I damaged slightly my my shoulders but you know this little technique here with the slight arch pressing from the scapulas and the elbow slightly coming in towards the torso is a technique that you want to do to help you press keep your force centered and keep your feet planted as close as you can just want to remember that and also for the incline press I work the upper side of the chest um, same similar technique as to the bench press the only difference is you're now at an incline the incline is slightly higher on this bench here but you know uh, it still still did the work so I was playing around with my grips today and uh, I was going from the neutral grip to slightly wider grip um, you don't want to go too wide because then you can cause some possible injuries to your chest especially when you're trying to lift heavier I recommend it to keep it as centered or as neutral as you can but as you guys can see here I had my grips about where the line is you know where the rigid part of the barbell is, is like a little line right there you guys can see slightly right there that's where I had my my grip so um, a lot of it it's just been testing, see what grip works for me better. Um, unfortunately, in this workout here, I, I failed doing the two-plate press. Um, so it, it, it kind of goes on and off. Uh, I'm able to do it sometimes, sometimes I'm not. It was one of those days where I just really, I guess, couldn't really get it up there. But, uh, I mean, you got to 
got a living you learn you know so i figured i was like no nah, i'm not gonna try that i'm just gonna lower the weight check that ego and focus more on the full range of motion as in this clip right here and as you guys can see i wear a belt the belt you want to have it strapped up to where the belly button is and exert your stomach out kind of like a beer belly so you can really lock in the uh in the core and it keeps your back tight as well too so you don't press from your back you keep everything centered and safe Moving on to the uh, dumbbell flies with pullovers and close grip press, a triple set that I did just to work on the width of the chest. So this technique here, I got it from Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, the the god of bodybuilding, as they say. And uh, this technique, I, I didn't, when I read it, it made sense, but uh, you know, having my feet elevated like that really targets you to uh, contract the uh the chest um doing the flies and you know a couple guys didn't believe me but when i had some guys do it they're like oh yeah it does you feel the contraction it's, it's a very distinct contraction that you get so you know that's why uh, arnold was uh idolized in the bodybuilding world because of such techniques as that moving on to the pullovers this works the length or the vertical side of the the chest targets a lower chest as well um i do it off of the side of the bench but uh, you want to make sure you come all the way down as close as you can to the floor to really get that full range of motion. And I just finish it off with uh, some close grip presses just to work the inner side of the chest. So yeah, guys, uh, sorry I'm kind of talking a little bit fast for you guys here. I will do a um, more of a tutorial video on the bench press alone and uh, slowly incorporate other moves you know just to describe it more um this just to give you guys ideas of some uh, chest workouts that i recommend but i've also tried and that's helped my strength and size in my chest which is uh, one of the body parts that uh, it's kind of weird i used to be stronger and bigger younger but now as i'm older for some reason um i lag on this body part but i mean you know, you just got to keep going, just got to keep working, just stay faithful, stay hoping, so just put in the time and, you know, workouts like this and nutrition, rest, such, so we'll get you there. And uh, I, targeting about, as far as rep range, um, I, I want to say 8 to 12, nothing too crazy. Uh, when I do lighter weight, I'll go up to as 15. Um, I mean, there's no perfect rep range. But uh, typically to cause hypertrophy or growth in the muscles, uh, we recommend you to do about mm, eight reps, maybe six, eight reps uh, to just really cause that uh, muscle tissue to tear and develop and grow. Um, and then also you want to increase in weight as well too to cause the growth. And well, of course you got to eat a little bit too. A little bit more. I'm sorry. So it's a, it's more than one thing. It's not just lifting big weights. You know, you, you gotta really, you know, take your time and know what you're doing. And uh, moving on here to the decline press, just to work the lower part of the chest. Um, yeah, similar. Uh, you just want to be careful. You just want to keep it perpendicular. Bring it right to the sternum. Similar to the bench presses and such. The only difference is your decline. So be careful with that. And I always like to superset it with the dips. So when you do the dips, you guys want to make sure you guys lean slightly forward to really attack the chest. And come as low as you can. I was working on trying to control my body weight. I was already fatigued and tired. So as you guys can see, I do that little hop from the foot. Just a little tick, tip for you guys right there. Alright, so thanks for watching, guys. Alright, I guess finished my chest workout. Gonna go home and uh, fuel up. Remember, the most important meal of the day is your post-workout. Right? Your body needs to recover, get those gains, because your body develops and grows outside of the gym with proper rest and nutrition. All right, guys, so uh, so that was my chest workout. Um, right now, like I said, currently I'm just focusing. I'm trying to add some size and uh, weight. Um, I wasn't really mind, mind connected with my body today, so I was playing around with grips today. Um, and changing the styles and techniques kind of uh, going back to how I used to live but you know, I'm, 
right now I'm just currently in a, in a testing phase trying to see what works best for me um, so yeah so see you guys next time stay tuned stay fit